All right. Let's get back into Red Dead Redemption 2. Looking for information on the O'Driscoll's planned train job. Dutch leads the gang into an attack on their camp. Yep. Oh, and I guess we didn't get any special awards. All right, well, I guess it makes sense that uh, they give you some challenges for a second playthrough. But right now I'm more concerned about the story and not so much about perfection. Not the first time through. What's my horse got on him? Oh, that's my satchel. Ooh, yeah. Bandana. Okay. I would think at some point. Huh. At some point, I would be able to uh, sell off that jewelry. Oh, there's nothing on my horse. Okay. It's that yellow snow over there. Don't eat it. <coughs> All right. Starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> that man's trying to cook you some food. You don't have to be a dick about it, Arthur. Yeah. You take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. All right. It's a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right. Let's head out. All right, Charles. I've got salted off. I'm guessing that's animal guts or something. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? <laughs> There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. God damn it, rock star. <sighs> Here I am trying to read stuff up in the corner and you're days, all right. going on with the story. North from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. 
Well, Javier told me a bit, but his show weren't good. So what were we gonna find? Some rabbits? Or something bigger? Some of the ground uncovered here. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. What? <sighs> There's a deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Well, there's no point setting off without that bow. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. What? Ah, okay. Easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and wood. All right, where are they? There it is. Shh. Down there. You see him? Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. Keep good tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. see another one.
we're going to do with that one. Darn it, I keep pushing the wrong button. What? Hmm. Jesus, I can't stay still. Good, got it. God damn it. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Compendium update. Oh, jeez, come on, get me back. Come on, horse, where are you? When you are. Come on, man. Let's head back. <laughs> nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. Yeah, it's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, 
What's that? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the O'Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well... Is that a bear? We've been strapping over scores with them for years. Oh, it's a Watch rock. Out. It's a bear up ahead. Oh, no, it is a bear. Let's see if we can find another way around. Or what if we just shoot it? He must be over here. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Where are you going? Where'd the bear go? Cut up here, off the trail. Oh, there he is. Looks like a grizzly. Six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Nah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. 
I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Drop some food back, boys! <laughs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. Takes a lifetime of practice to master. All right, let's cook these. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. Oh, well, they drop him. There we go. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Yuck. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck. Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting, after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <coughs> Yuck. A few days later. Been a bad few weeks. <laughs> Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and hmm. dreams. I'm tired. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. Yeah, you'll pay me. But for the moment, you just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Well, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He needs to see me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. 
Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him? Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Let's go, horse. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by Leo Trisky, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles? You'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars and deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. All right. Come on. Let's ride. So I'm heading for the back. Bill there? Yeah. 
You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. <laughs> well, I guess this is accurate. The horses can take a shit. Best way to get down there to Bill. Sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. On a horse. There we go. Alright. Where's the detonator? Ah, there it is. Some eagle doesn't come down and land on that detonator. Oh, we're in trouble. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. All right, it's on the horse. the tracks here. Whoops. What's that house over there? Says all fine. We'll soon find out. Quicker way down. Okay. I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Come on, man. Push it. Here we go. Shit, no! Ah, oh, you dumbass. It was fine. Was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh -huh. Here we go! Here we go! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> you dumbass. Come on, Lenny. I've got you. Now stop yelling. Huh? Sit, sit, sit. Let's hope no one's looking out that window. Shit. Yeah, you're okay. Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He, he didn't make it. easy Grab some stuff along the way. Uh, how do we get up there? There we go. Who said that? We moving up? What is wrong with you? We have to stop this train. How you doing there? I'm okay. If we don't stop this train soon, the other boys will never catch us. Shut up, man. Shit. Get him, Carter. Stop the train. Well, at least it wasn't as much damage done. Shit, more guards coming out of that train car. Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are Five, opening this door. Four, three, two, one. 
Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little! Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Search that train. <laughs> Come on, man. Walk. What the hell? Jeez, my guy's stuck. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Okay. Let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Oh, we got another card. That's how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Bond? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Uh -huh. Give me those. Railroad contracts. Invoices. Blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports. Figure got them. Nice. Thank God. Come on. Anything else worth taking? Just waiting on you, Arthur. Letter to Leviticus Cornwall from Leland Oigle. God, shut up, man. He is the most impatient boss. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive a payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration of the Watipi Indian Let's Reservation. Shut up, Dutch. Alba Amberino has agreed in the contract between Cornwall Kerosene Tar and a Leland Oil Development Company dated November 9, 1898. On, two re on receipt of the funds, we will proceed with the phases two and three of the project and present you with a detailed report of the findings within a month. Yours respectfully, James Critchley, Head of Accounts. All right. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Okay, get on the train, quick, hold it. Any bright ideas, I kill all three of you, so behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. 
Better get on the train. Cents. No, I want to climb up there. Shovel gone. Yeah. Where'd my hat go? successful mission. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. I just want to take a look at the map real quick. So let's see, where are we? Deadbolt Creek, Spider Gorge, and it's not showing me anything else. But. We've got this map. Lake Isabella. Okay. Let me just uh, show this here. So this is the part of the map. Sorry. Up here. Where we are now. A lot more to cover. There's New Austin down there. And some other places. So, anyhow, let's get back to the game. Sometimes it's just nice to know your bearings of where you're headed or where you are. I figured we were in the north because of all the snow.
Man, they really like showing off the graphics in this game. I guess I don't blame them. They're pretty sweet, but... Lenny, Micah, get over here. It's a lot of watching. Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Grand Theft Wagon. Get us out the street. <laughs> Gotta keep us moving, but calm. Ah, shit. What the fuck? Okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah! Broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <gasps> That's how those things are held on. Okay. Jesus, I think there'd be a all. bolt or something. Not quite. Oh, there we go. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. <sighs> Back on the wagon, okay? Can we just get there? Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. How's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just cause it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. 
I don't understand. Hang on. I am going to close the curtains because, man, the sun is shining right in my face. That's better. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Uh, are we still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you. Dutch, we've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. You are, brother. Head in there. Just follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Who's that? Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. Oops. For now, anyway. Ah, looks like I got some GPS going. I didn't make the proper turn, but it fixed it for me. Trail here somewhere. Okay. 
There we go. That's better. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place is we perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money, and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. Not out of money. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too so it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. All right. Horseshoe Overlook. How do I change clothes at my tent? Doesn't seem to be a hot place right now. A couple of weeks later. We got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs>
All right, what's the deal with camera? Oh, it doesn't really tell me. Oh, Arthur, my boy, my dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Let's take a picture. <laughs> Oops. Take a photo of that. All right, I got two photos. Whoops. Let's try posting them to social club. Seems like the kind of stupid thing that there's usually a, an achievement for. And I would be wrong. I haven't actually looked at the achievements in this game. I'm just kind of playing. Letting them happen as they happen. It's just my tent. Lyle Morgan, I guess he's brother or something. Dog. Who's that? Some other Morgan. Beatrice. Who are these people? Huh. Don't know who that is. Must be someone he likes. All right, Morgan. Change clothing. Let's see what he can change into. I would imagine some of these things came from that uh, special edition thing that I got. The gunslinger. This looks like he's a biker. Not, not suitable for hot temperatures, so. That's for average temperatures. This is suitable for hot weather. Let's try the summer gunslinger. Guess that's it. Oh, hats. Hmm. It's kind of like this hat I got right here. All right, gambler's hat. Let's use that one. Yeah, need a coat. Eh, I don't want to wear a 
chest either. Let me change the color. shirt even though it's pretty dirty yeah, let's go with gray plaid let's go with uh, blue jeans everybody likes blue jeans right I'd not wear suspenders. Okay, that works. I don't know how to turn on these things off. suspenders uh, I guess I don't have a choice don't want chaps boots are fine what about masks what's that no I don't want to wear a mask uh, okay I get it no bandana bandana that holster yeah that's a cooler looking gun belt kind of fancy though could be a problem satchels alright well we'll just leave that talismans the hell is that? That looks a little too fancy, but what the hell? I'm going to leave it on. Alright, that'll work. Actually, let's save it. Save outfit. Alright. It's my custom summer outfit. And can I rest in here? Hey, wait, what, what was that zoological thing? Oh, that's the book. Uh, well, let me change pages. I guess that's just a reminder of how to do certain things. Whoa, 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 whoa. Salmon flower. That's kind of interesting. There we go. All right, badgers and skunks. 
When approaching its hole, this idiotic creature will pop its head out to see what is coming. Place a shot between the eyes, take the fur, and throw the rest in a stew pot. All right. I'm surprised they don't say something about honey badger not caring. Skunk. They eat quite a lot of insect larvae, so uh, better leave them alone. Hey, what was that newspaper scrap? All right. Three men sought. Major T.J. Belford has been a cashier at the banking house at Lee and Hoyt for a number of years, but nothing prepared him for what transpired last week. It was two o'clock. Three men, strangers to me, came through the door and walked up to the counter. One of them, the eldest of the three, was a fine talker and engaged me in conversation. Suddenly, the largest, a big, sullen young man, brandished a firearm and held it to my face. Throw up your hands, the third one said, who appeared to be the boss. The other two repeated the order with an oath, and the leader said, My fine patriotic friends and I are going to relieve you of that gold and introduce a few folks to the benefits of civilization. They came around to the counter and grabbed some sacks, which contained $5,000 in gold. They demanded to know where the rest of the money was, and I pointed out the three sacks contained silver, but it was too bulky for them. They retreated, and one warned against sounding an alarm. I was never so terrified in all my life, Mr. Belford told a reporter. The robbers are reported to have lingered in town and are unproven claims and there are unproven claims that the men traveled to hovels and shanties and even a home for the orphans and gave handfuls of ill gotten gains to the poor. Who could that be? Are you one of them? Arthur? Mm, I'm not going to sleep. Not right now. <sighs> you know, I'm kind of tired. What's going on over here? Why can't I walk that way? I want to inspect that letter. Ah, oh, jeez, another long thing? No, it's just a poem. Yeah, I don't feel like reading that. Good morning. <laughs> that guy's a weirdo. What's, My name ain't no concern of yours. what's the cook up to? Crafting upgrades. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you, Sully, if you bring me the right materials. Hmm. What is the point of that stuff? All right, well, this is stuff we can decorate the camp with, I guess. A bunch of animal skins and whatnot. Appreciate it, Pearson. A stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Let's give him some venison. Can't wait to taste this. Thanks. 
All right, so basically donate is selling. What else can we do here? Good morning. When is Bill ready? It'll be ready when it's ready. What's that say? Susan. Grimshaw. What are you doing over here, lady? Good day, Mr. Morgan. Mm, puffing on a cigarette. Okay, Abigail. Settling in. Good. All right, well, I should be getting on. Take care, Arthur. I'm getting on. It's too warm in here for this hat. These fellas. Right. Is there a weapons shop over here or something? One of these days we'll actually get the man to help with the laundry. Hi there, Arthur. <laughs> I wouldn't hold your breath. So it says there's ammunition there. And that's with the chicken leg. Provisions. Where's the ammunition? Just name the place, my friend. Just name the place. <laughs> All right, so who should I take a mission from? See which one's furthest out. Oh. 
uncle, he's way closer than everybody else. Let's go talk to uncle. was that? Oops. Item request. Hosea enjoys crime novels. Find one for him. Okay. this my horse Tennessee Walker I'm pretty sure that's mine Sorry, Tennessee, let's hit you back up. I'll just take, go on foot over to Uncle. Where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. Hey, wake up. Ow, ow, ow. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it <laughs> pay well? Eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. If you're going to take the old man into town, you can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on, then. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. a song. All right, shut up, ladies. Friend, 
Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? I'd really appreciate the help. I I'm worried this one here will bolt on me too if I leave him. All right, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Shire. All right. Easy. You're okay. Don't kick me. You'll be all right. Help if the camera would show me where I'm going. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. you Could have given me a few bucks, man. Come on, Arthur. Enough showing off. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> 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 or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. <laughs> Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Let's go left here, down the main street. Stairs always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. <sighs> all right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. 
Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris and Valentine. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. <laughs> then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Afternoon. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. <sighs> You're not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know yet. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> Well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Guana scale well, trinkets. A job, Worthless. Art. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. Oh, the shopkeeper doesn't want that stuff? What the hell? I don't think I want to buy anything from him. Chocolate bar. Hmm. I don't think I need any of this stuff right now. Hmm. Sir, <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain, absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? what? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a bear tonight for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. 
I've been looking. Anyway, get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You I'll kick out. your ass. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Don't worry, you'll be a regular no time. God dang it, Karen. What'd you go getting yourself into? Well, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Wrong Here we come. Hey! Hey you! A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! I walked away. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy. Come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Shit, no. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I had him on foot. Uh, that's not him. There he goes. Mr. Please, I'm sorry. Where is he? Why are you telling lies about me? No, 
No! I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Just pull me up. Come on. Now why should I? All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you? Jimmy Brooks. Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this here old mine. Have a nice day now, sir. Yep. Wild carrot. Okay. Let's get a couple of those. Second. Doesn't look like my main horse. Come on, girl. Yeah. So, where's that fella I ran over? I did not actually mean to do that. I thought he was the guy trying to get away. I guess he survived. There's no armed assault. Come on. I couldn't slow down my stupid horse. Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need You need the right. Someone help me! Get away 
What? What is this? Who do you think you are? Soccer game? Are you following me? Looks like you're following me, dipshit. Okay, move yourself along. No fuss now. Hey, watch it. If you just come on easy. What? Thought that was actually going to be a good choice. Just not. Noisy ass kids outside. Hold on, what's the question mark on the map? Out of the damn way. Come on, remember what really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in seventy six. Just a lot of Plato, it's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient Who's history. your friend there? <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. Win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay, then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot them? Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! 
Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to them. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Took anything from me when I was in that jail. Maybe not. Greetings. All the trouble in Valentine late, and people are starting to talk about the curse again. Hmm. I am going to take a break. And, uh,. Maybe get back on later tonight. It's been fun. Thank you very much for watching. That